Welcome back to my studio, Shop with Sally. This week we are talking about punk, and I love punk, and it's one of my favorites. So let's talk about the shopping list that you need for your clothes if you want to embrace some or all of the punk uniform for your own wardrobe. Um, so first up, and I think one of the most key items in any punk vibe wardrobe is a fantastic motorcycle jacket. So I have a motorcycle jacket. It's my absolute favorite. I have a couple, but this one's my favorite that I keep with me at all times um, in my closet, in my car, whatever. My, this one is from uh, Comme des Garçons, and they have a, a I don't want to say cheaper, it's like a classic collection they do called Black. And it's all black, obviously, most of it. Um, but this is from their black collection. And I like it because it's actually a polyurethane. It's not it's not even leather. Um, but it is super warm. And I like that it's got this crop kind of slightly feminine uh, length of sleeve on it. And I don't know. Ray Calacubo has been doing motorcycle jackets since the beginning of Comme des Garçons. And she just always kills it. She always does a really cool, interesting shape. They're comfortable. It's got great pleats here so I can move my arms and I don't get like, you know, little shoulder because I'm really broad shouldered. I don't get little sh shoulder syndrome where I can't move my arms, which I hate. Um, but yeah, I think everyone who wants to embrace any part of this punk vibe, the first place to start is a great motorcycle jacket. So um, I also like motorcycle jackets because they, they range really well because to me right now springtime Spring and fall are some of the hardest times to dress because the weather, I live here in California or even New York, the weather can drastically go back and forth. And I feel like motorcycle jackets, if you get a good heavy leather motorcycle jacket, it will do you through the winter with layers underneath. And that's the other good thing, motorcycle jackets look fantastic with layers underneath. I love a hoodie underneath, a sweatshirt. I love, um, I have a Rick Owens little kimono jersey thing that I like to put under it for layers when it's a little bit cooler. So, I mean, you know, the, the, the nice thing about motorcycle jacks is you can layer a little fur vest underneath, you can layer um, a zippy hoodie, and it gives you the layer of protection or like warmth that you need to do, make it through the winter. But also, it's a super good um, jacket to have going into spring before summer hits. So, motorcycle jacket number one, absolutely must have. And YSL does, um, excuse me, Saint Laurent, now that Eddie Slimane's there, does super awesome leather motorcycle jacket, super duper skinny fit. Um, Celine has usually some in, in rotation. So does Balenciaga that are incredible. And I'll do links for that here. Um, there are a lot of like good, there's a couple of legit old punk companies old leather companies that have been making the punk jackets since like, you know, forever, you know, they come from motorcycle jackets. They've been around since I feel like the fifties. So, you know, it's a getting the right fit. I think is the important thing when you get to the motorcycle jacket for a girl, the important thing is to have smaller shoulders on the motorcycle jacket. You don't want your shoulder hanging over unless it's like intentionally cut that way. But most of the time, I think women make the mistake of getting a men's motorcycle jacket that's far too big on the shoulders. And then you just end up looking like a big boxy mess. So the important thing here is to find a nice motorcycle jacket that has a nice smaller shoulder, women's shoulder on it that um, gives you just enough room to layer something underneath. So I'll put options here at, at all the budget levels and you're good to go. Now, as far as other jackets, I mean, Punk, before, you know, when it was the Velvet Underground, people like the Buzzcocks and like all those, those kind of early, early punk bands, they, some of them did rock suits, which I like. And if you're going to do, go down the suit vibe, um, it's a super duper 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 skinny, skinny, skinny suit. And the jacket is going to be for the girl, I think a little bit on the bigger side. So whereas they say, you know, for your motorcycle jacket, keep with small shoulders, I think a punk jacket can be a little bit bigger. Um, almost kind of reminding me of like Talking Heads and like those kind of bands which were almost post-punk. You know, thinking about if you're going to do a suit jacket, I have I found some amazing pictures of Nancy Spungen, who is Sid from the Sex Pistols uh, wife, girlfriend, and she had on this amazing huge oversized black men's sports jacket or a blazer and it looked fantastic. So I think that's another good option if you're not a big leather motorcycle fan. Um, then the basics, I mean, t-shirts rarely, I mean, excuse me, punks rarely wore anything other than t-shirts. 
or cutoff t-shirts. So this one's from one of my favorite brands. It is very hardcore punk ethos and I've like wore the crap out of it. It's super soft and you can see there's like tons and tons of bleach stains and stuff all over it um, and holes. But this is from Obesity and Speed and I love Liz who designs it's amazing. I met her in New York years ago. Um, but they always kind of have an underlying punk theme with their t-shirts. And I also love like good distressed worn out t-shirts. I have a couple great options here from Net-A-Porter. Burned out options in blacks and grays. Um, white, sometimes the thing with white, they get super dirty and like in punk life, you know, dirtiness, you just tend to be dirty. So I, I don't know. I always like to go more black, black on black, murder it out. You know, luxury punk to me is more murder it out, keep it dark. Every once in a while I'll throw in white, like in the super summer, if I'm going for my punk look, I like to throw in a, like your typical wife beater. I do feel like I did see a ton of those guys in all of my punk books, you know, rocking your classic wife beater. Um, and these are nice because I think they're a little bit sexy. You can get them in black as well. This one's from Jockey. I'll put options up here from Target. Um, but you can get great for the loon. Jockey makes the fantastic wife beater shape, just super classic. And uh, American Apparel has good... The, the tanks. I don't always like American Apparel, but they do a viscose tank that has the punk vibe if you want to have something better for the summer where you can just layer a bra underneath. So that's like for tops, I rarely see punks in a button down necessarily. Like it's too stuffy. I think it's more about great distressed t-shirts, great t-shirts, great wife beaters, um, bad word for it, A-shirts or whatever you want to call them, and, uh, and muscle shirts for for your uh, under your jackets, whether it's an oversized men's blazer or a motorcycle jacket with a hoodie. And then hoodies again, really not the kind of hoodie that Justin Bieber or freaking, you know, like that Facebook style guy hoodie, but more of like a black cotton worn out washed 2000 times hoodie is fantastic also for the punk look. Um, and then I, I love, 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 love black denim skinny jeans. So I like rarely rock normal denim ever. I have a couple pair of vintage Levi's from the 80s that I like, 90, 80s and 90s that I like, and some pairs from the 70s, but for the most part, I only rock black skinny jeans. They are my favorite. They age really well. They make me feel skinny. I love them. I have my two favorite pair are from Victoria Beckham's denim line, and they're a little bit pricey. You can find them online um, for, you know, discounted sometimes. For different, I think I got the last pair from Outnet.com for 150 bucks, um, but they're normally 200, 250. But they're really good jeans. They last forever. They wear really wear really well, and they fade really nicely. So I'm gonna do some really option um, good options here for you guys in black denim. Um, Trash and Vaudeville is the classic punk shop of all time. It's in New York City on St. Mark's Place, um, between first. No, between 2nd and 3rd Avenues on St. Mark's Place. Um, if you haven't been there, you're going to New York and you're a punk fan, you have to go to Trash and Vaudeville. Talk to Jemmy. He's the manager there. He's amazing. Um, tell him I sent you. I'm sure you know. I spent a lot of money in there, so I'm pretty sure he might know who I am. He knows me by face, that's for sure. But they, if you want to go for the classic punk denim, Trip, T-R-I-P-P, -P, is the classic, classic punk denim. Trash and Vaudeville has a line, but I'm pretty sure they do everything with Trip. So they have every version of a skinny jean you could ever want. Um, my only concern with those skinny jeans is you, they're really low cut, so muffin tops are a problem, and butt crack situations are a problem. And unless... <laughs> You are seriously a, a, a toothpick of a size, like, because I'm a size 8, 10, so I'm a real woman. I like something that has a little bit of a higher rise. That's why I like the Victoria Beckham ones, because I can get them in a, a higher waist, so my butt crack isn't hanging out the whole time. Um, but if you're on the skinnier, leaner side, and you want to do the original, authentic punk rock jean, you want to get the trip jeans from Trash and Vaudeville, and I'll put those here as well, down below. And they have great prints if you want to do something other than just a classic black. But I always love a classic black denim jean. To me, is an absolute punk necessity. Um, also, the other good thing is the more trashed your denim gets, the better. It's more punk. Especially if you have a nice leather jacket or a nice big men's blazer you're wearing it with. I always like having, you know, a little bit of something distressed in my look, period, because I like the kind of look of rich and poor. So 
you know, don't worry about them getting trashed. The better, the more trashed and ripped up they are, the better. And then the other trouser that I think, you know, and then for, for summer, if you want to rock, um, I have some really great dark denim, like super gray, like gray black acid wash cutoffs that I love. Those They're actually from Volcom, but Trip has some good ones. I recommend getting some really good black jeans from a place like Trip or Levi's or anybody who has a really good black denim jean that fits you well and cutting them off. Um, I also like getting oversized, super duper oversized and cutting them off so it feels more like a skirt and it's less of a sexy my butt cheeks are hanging out thing. Um, so I'll do some options of that, how to do that for you guys here, as well as, uh, you know, the other option, which is hard to rock in summer sometimes, is a leather trouser. I love leather trousers. They're really hard to find. You know, you don't look like Lenny Kravitz in the 90s. So that's like the, you you want to stay away from the 70s cut of a leather trouser. You want to find the skinny, skinny, skinny kind of leather vibe that feels like a leather legging. And the row has always done really good ones. They're really expensive. Isabel Morant does them. Again, really expensive. But then I feel like American Apparel and a couple other of the high street brands like H&M and Zara have done classically really good kind of faux leather like legging um, leather leggings so I will find those and put those here for you guys as well so those are kind of the basics everything else around punk is really on accessories and I think the fun thing and the thing that I like about punk is I find it very comfortable to wear and it actually looks sleek when you're all murdered out and you're black and white or you're all black that you end up looking really sharp even if you have ripped jeans or whatever it can look really clean so I, that's why I kind of call this luxury punk instead of doing classic punk is I like the cleanliness and the clean lines that you can create with these silhouettes and with these clothes and just having that bit of culture if it makes sense for you and your personal style. So have fun shopping the punk clothes shopping list and next up I will talk about the punk accessories. Have fun, check you guys later.